Hi, I'm Catherine of GameCraft.net and I haven't done a video in ages, like ages, other than of course the podcast, well, podcast in video format on YouTube. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick pickups video. I say quick, there's a lot of stuff down here. Um, there's still a few videos that I want to kind of do as well and if you want a more detailed video of any of these, because uh, I've got a couple of consoles here, um, just let me know and I can do that um, because it won't take too long if it's just a, a console really. Um, so yeah, as I said I haven't done these for a while. I think probably the oldest thing is right at the bottom of everything. So if I just move a few things around. Probably should have put them in order like I usually do, um, but I didn't think. Um, so you may have seen recently I put up an interview video uh, with two guys who work at RGB, uh, which is Retro Game Base, a retro game store in London, uh, well in Streatham in London. Um, and I bought some stuff there and no one's really seen what I bought other than I think people who are friends with me on Facebook. I might have posted about it on Twitter as well. Um, so the big thing I bought, well, first off, I intended on coming home, I intended even on coming home with a Sega Sun, uh, Sega Sun, a uh, Jaguar, an Atari Jaguar. Um, but I saw something else that caught my eye instead and I bought it. It was a bit expensive, um, but I still bought it. So I bought an SG-1000 2. You may not have seen one of these before, I'd never really seen one in person before. Um, it's like the pre master system Sega stuff. So there's SG-1000, which is the cutest console in the world, and a Mark III as well, uh, which was pretty much the Mark I Mars system, um, just whitish, and they changed it a little bit. Um, but this is pretty much what the Mars system turned out to be. Uh, the carts are a bit different, um, but it does have a card reader like the Mark I Mars system does. So as you can see here, it's boxed. Um, I mean, it's not great condition. The box is like yellowed and stuff. But the thing is, these are so old, uh, what's the copyright year on it? Have they got a copyright year? No, I'm sure the uh, instruction book will though. Um, and like, for example, it shows all the different uh, things you can get with it, for it. There's uh, a TV. Jeez, was I just saying your TV? That looks like a pretty special TV though, because it's yellow. Um, how your Mark II can then fit into a keyboard. Uh, it looks like a tape player and something else, I'm not really too sure. Uh, there's loads of peripherals for this thing. Um, you can get like a, a graphics tablet, but I think it might only work with the Mark III. Uh, but it's got like, it's called TV Oikaki or Terry B. I can't say my R's that well in Japanese, but so like TV drawing pretty much. Um, and I really want to get one of those. But yes, so this is it. Um, I had the choice of two. They had another one, they might still have it if you pop down there. Um, but I went with this one and they let me pick the best bits of everything. Um, so it's got a manual. Sadly, uh, manuals, well, the manual doesn't have a serial. I guess they didn't do them with serials. Um, and that's, I think that's more of a Nintendo thing, isn't it? Serials. Unless it would have had a serial card. Um, does it have a copyright year? No, I still can't see a copyright year. Um, but yeah, so I've got the, the manual, it's all there telling you how to plug it into things and so a little slippy thing for the manual as well whether that's what originally came with it who knows if I can get it fully back in um, and then we've got the unit and everything else um, it actually came with a is it a my card they call it? no just a card catcher this allows you to put the uh, cards in um, and that just slots in the top where the usual cartridges go and then you put uh, cards. This actually came with Penguin Land, which some people might have on my system. Uh, the card's actually been broken in half, but I got it included with it, so I thought it was all right. Um, and then it would simply just go in without trying to break it. And then in top of the on top of the console. Not got an eject button though, kind of want that. Maybe that's how it broke. Um, and then it's got old school uh, RF adapter, but for Japanese TVs where you have to like plug these in something. But I imagine I could just use the Mars system adapter with it. Um, it's got a plug, and the plug actually has <laughs> its original little box. I'm not sure why it had its own little box. There you go. So it's the same on both sides. 
um, and that came in there. I do have it because I haven't managed to play on it yet and actually test that it works. Um, and Japanese AC, official AC, uh, because I haven't got. Well, I I don't first. Firstly, I don't want to blow it up if I put the wrong um, converter in it. Uh, well, step down, step up, whichever it is. Um, and I don't have any here, so I need to buy the correct one before any choices. Um, it's got a, a standard aerial lead there as well, just down there. Yes, yeah, so as I said, I had the choice of two consoles. I went with this one. The other one was not yellowed. Uh, this one is. Uh, the other one was more the colour of the bottom of it here. Um, however, the other one was massively scratched up along here. And as you can see, this one is meh, pretty much perfect along here. So it had scratches. You couldn't read that it said SG1002 on it. Uh, the cutest thing in the world is that it tells you about the console on the front. I think that's like the sweetest thing in the world. Um, did I have a... Did I have a stick? Yes, I do. Um, so it's a really cute little compact unit. Um, you've got space at the, the back to put the controllers in and the controllers are here on the sides uh, you've got a switch on the front as well as I guess where the, an expansion no, there's an expansion bay at the front there where you can plug in other peripherals um, pause button on the front just of course like a mass system um, but these slide no, I, I, I had to remember how to, well, me and another guy were looking at these. There we go. They just clip off. Um, I actually have one joystick nib, um, which I didn't thought, I didn't think I had. I thought I didn't get any, um, but then I found it in the box. So you, it's got a little screw on nib that you can then use for it. Or you can actually just use it as a D-pad. Um, then it's got a standard controller Port, which just goes in the back um, and then just two buttons so you can you can really see where the mass system came from really and just a more polished up version of this and yeah so both both controllers just snap off um, I think I got the best looking controllers so it's cute because you know you you've got all you need pretty much two controllers who needs more well no, you should have more um, and yeah and I'd, I'd never had a chance to get one of these before, so I just I just did it. I just bought it. Um, got switch low high. Um, so yeah, that's my SG one thousand Mark II, which I paid a bit too much for, if you ask me. Uh, mainly because I don't like spending large amounts of money. But um, it was that or the Jaguar, and I was well. I just thought, well, you can buy a, a Jaguar anywhere. They're not particularly hard to come by. There we go. Um, so I went with the slightly cooler, slightly rarer thing. Uh, with that though, I did get some games. Uh, there was another game I could have gotten, um, but I didn't. It was a football game. Um, so I got, I got, uh, I got Pachinko 2. There's the cart. Champion Pro Wrestling. I watched videos for all of them on YouTube to see what they were like before buying them um, so I could get the better ones, although I, I got all of his games bar one, all, all of their games. Um, Exeron, I guess, which actually has its very tiny, tiny, tiny um, instruction manual. Because the, 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 these two instruction manuals that I've got for this and the next game were actually in one of the boxes and then I realised that they they were the instruction manuals and then I got August as well mm. <laughs> which has got a sticker on the back of a bullet train I guess which is quite odd obviously uh, someone wanted to put their sticker on it and then it's just got a it's so because it's got a keyboard controls as well um, but they say on the front how they can play on the the 3000 or the 1000 uh, 1984 copyright on this, so around that time. Um, so I got those from there. Um, then as I uh, was one of the first 10, 20, 50, I can't remember how many people in the store, um, I got a little goodie bag. This goodie bag had a really cool arcade poster. Can you see that? 
for um, steel talons. It's really quite cute. Um, oops, nicely printed. And each goodie bag had a different one in it. Um, so I got that. Although I wish I'd have asked because I think they probably had more, but I think they sold the rest of them, which was slightly annoying. Um, then I bought a few other things. What well, a couple of other things. In my goodie bag, I did also get, I think it was uh, this one, I think, Space Firebird sticker. Um, so it's a really nice, quite a thick sticker on a sheet. And then I also bought these as well, because uh, they were 50 peach. I got a Cubert one as well, and a Dig Dug. So they were really nice. Um, I'll show that last. Then I also picked up a couple of Sna oh, well, Fam uh, Super Famicom games. I got Sim Earth. Mm, keep your going back. That was, that might have been a fiber or something like that. And I also got a Dino, Dino Catcher. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it's a really cute looking platform game. Which you can see on the back there. And then I picked up, what is it? Poyo Poyo Da. Which is a, uh, a rhythm game I believe. Uh, people say it's really bad on the internet but I thought I'd pick it up because I hadn't seen a copy and you don't get Japanese games that much. Um, I think it's got its, have its spine card. Oh no it doesn't have its spine card, I thought it did. Um, so I got that, Dreamcast. And then I also picked up this because I just, I was looking through it because they've got lots of old um, tape games as you may have seen in the video um, and I saw the side of this I was like oh I wonder what that's like and then I could not not get it um, so I picked up Blade Runner which is as it says a video game interpretation of the film score by Evangelist so it's a game interpretation well a video game based off the music of Blade Runner which I thought sounded really odd um, so yeah it's a, it's a bit uh, watered or waterlogged it's got its story on the back. It's made by CRL Group, I believe. Um, and the main reason I could not get it, it said free poster inside. I was like, ah, they won't have it still. And now look, it's a little poster. Um, there's the game itself. It's made in 1985. Um, but the poster was, it's it's cool. It's like a, a comic style interpretation, I guess, of the city. I don't know. Either way, it's it's quite a nice interpretation of the way people are in the time of Blade Runner. I guess it's kind of like the whole he's trying to kill a replicant. At least that's what it looks like. Or a guy with uh, funky hair and everyone else is running away. You've got lots of Chinese people. And they've even managed to um, themselves in it. I don't know who drew it. I don't believe it's got. No, it doesn't say anywhere. Either way, I thought it was really nice having a poster. Um, so I've got to put that up somewhere, although I don't think I'm allowed to put up posters. The joys of renting. Um, but that was like 50p or, actually no, it might not have been 50p, it might have been two pounds or something like that. Um, but I guess it's complete. The box annoyingly doesn't like to shut because of the poster though. Um, but that was really cute. And that was the last thing I believe I got from there. 